resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at last he shall stand upon the earth. And after my skin has just been destroyed, then with all my flesh I shall see God. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the God and Father for Lord Jesus Christ, by his great mercy, that being born anew to a living hope, to the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and to an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. That thou shall be the path of life, in thy presence there is fullness of joy, and that I write on their pleasures forevermore. Be permitted for the night, what dry comes in the morning. The eternal God is already in place and the night of everlasting arms. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Let us pray. Eternal Father, whoever had mighty power did us raise up our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. Strengthen us now by the Holy Spirit, the comfort and help us to worship thee with reverence and submission of heart, and to put our whole trust in thy perfect wisdom, power and love, 
Thus was the will not take this word by eternal life, that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scripture we may hope and be lifted above our, our darknesses and distresses into the light and peace of thy presence through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So I pray for you to ascend the Lord, my shepherd. He restored my soul. The son of the righteous are in the hand of God and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they were seen to have died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction, and they are going for most to be their destruction, but they are at peace. The righteous man, though he die early, will be at rest. For old age is not an hour, for a length of time, nor measured by number of years, but understanding is great here for men. And a blameless life is where we are all age. There was one who pleased God and was loved by him. And while living among sinners, he was taken up. He was caught up, lest evil change his understanding, or uh, by this he be sold. Being perfected in a short time, he fulfilled long years. His soul was pleading to the Lord. Therefore, he took him quickly from the midst of wickedness. Yet the people saw and did not understand, nor take such a thing to heart that God's grace and mercy are with his elect, and he watches over his holy one. The righteous man who has died will condemn the ungodly who are living, and you that is quickly perfected will condemn the prolonged old age and the righteous man, for they will see the end of the wise man, and will not understand what the Lord proposed for him, and for what he has kept him safe. The righteous live forever, and their reward is with the Lord, the most high takes care of them. Therefore, they will receive a glorious come and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arms he will shield them. Right
God is good somebody. God is good somebody. And all the time, God is good. I know that we're here for a funeral service. Amen? Amen. But that doesn't mean we can God give God praise and thanks. Amen. Amen. Amen? We are here to say our final goodbye to Mrs. Kane. She was a mother to some, a grandmother, a sister, a auntie, whatever she was to you. We are here to pay our final respects. Amen? Amen. And you know, one cannot warm himself alone and serve his God aright, you know? So it's not easy for somebody to be up here to at least read a scripture or even sing a song. But the support of the congregation will be good enough for us to support. Amen? Amen. 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 So we're going to follow the program just like how it is. And when there is open tribute, we have two minutes. We're not going over the two minutes, you know? So on the program we have the first song Song the Battle Cry Song the Battle Cry See the Polish night Rise the standard high For the Lord Ride your Allah on Stand on everyone
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Our heads are bowed and eyes are closed. Eternal God and Heavenly Father. God, we come before you this morning to give you praise and to give you thanks. And to say, are we yet alive to see each other's face? Glory and praise unto his redeeming grace, Heavenly Father. God, I bring the Cain family before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray that you will strengthen them like you never strengthened them before their God. God, if their time that they need you is right now, Heavenly Father. Because it is not easy to lose a mother there, God. You can have a hundred fathers, but God, you can only have one mother, mighty Father. So God, I ask them that they will be joined together, that cords that can be broken, mighty Father. And God, when they leave this place, they can be a shelter for each one to lean on. And this is my prayer, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Our second song is, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus All our sins and dreams
And in a nutshell, what the songwriter is saying, whatever storm that we are facing, we can take it to the Lord in prayer. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now we're going to have our open tributes. And as I said, two minutes for open tributes. So the floor is open. I don't know if some of you here might know me. My name is Mrs. Hattie Johnson. I'm a retired nurse, staff nurse. My face is very familiar all over this, the country. Okay, I'm here today to represent my mom, Miss Cameline Gabriel. She is the sister of the deceased. And I don't know this side of family. We're just getting to know this side of family, but. I remember in 2007, when I had entered the Register Nursing Program, I was in class with T.M. McNichols, but I did not know he was my relative. Okay, so um, I get to understand that a while after. So on behalf of my, um, today with me I have my husband and my sister, which is um, one of mommy's daughters as well. Okay, so we are here to represent her and give our condolences to the whole family. God bless. of the McNichols clan. <coughs> McNichols, Edward, Fitzroy, Alberta, Alford, Friends. And who could help me name the others? David. David. Yes, how could I name David? Oh, Rupert. David. Rupert. Rupert disease. <laughs> okay, so I stand here, and there are more who I do not know because I heard of one who went to Panama and didn't return, so he died. There are two others, I think, two other brothers. But I'm here this morning to say that my Aunt Margaret was a special lady. And on behalf of all, all the McNichols family, those in England, David's son, Vincent, his only surviving son, has asked me to convey, convey his condolences to Aunt Margaret's children. On behalf of Uncle Arthur, is this Miss Ryan here? Any of the Ryans? <laughs> yes, Ryan. On behalf of Uncle Arthur, this Ryan is here. Gloria, Roy, those in England have asked me as well to convey their condolences on behalf of their dad. Also, on my own behalf, and on behalf of, I can't name all my father's children. <laughs> so, I do not really want to start to name all the children, because I know I'm going to get in trouble. So I will not name all. But on behalf of those who are in the United States, in New York, Stephanie, who was very, very close to my aunt Margaret. I think she was the one who nurtured Stephanie, she said. She was the one who took care of her. So Stephanie, on behalf of Stephanie, Glebo, Linda, Eva, Winston, Mercina, those are the children of May Thomas. They have asked me please to express their condolences. 
The last sister is here, Eva, but she has asked. She was supposed to be here this evening. While sitting there, I got a message that unfortunately she will not be here. So that's for Grace um, May Thomas's children. And on behalf of my sister Bernice, who is in, in Canada, I am here. And the other children, I don't know if Godfrey would want to speak for himself, but I express our condolences. And we pray God that the children of Margaret King would live together in peace and unity. Children all, let love reign. Let peace reign. God bless you all. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. This afternoon, one of my cousins from overseas asked me to sing this song. But well, this afternoon, I cannot do that myself. I'm asked to the congregation, please, to help me. Please. Come this song. Yes, sir. And let us sing with a joyful night this afternoon. Yes. Jesus will live above the sky. Jesus will
everyone, to the ministers, brothers and sisters, and the children in the midst, good afternoon. These tributes are coming from myself and my mom to the bereaved family of my aunt and great aunt. She was my grandmother's sister, mother Roberta Bristol's sister. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy, because he turned his ear to me. I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. I knew a lot about my aunt, so I will speak about her spiritual days. One Sunday, I went to Mother Bristol's prayer house. I saw Tanti walking around, looking in and peeping in, in the windows. Then she came to me and asked, how are you sitting down here so? I tell her, you come in, you come in. She came in, knelt down and gave thanks to the Lord. Then she went around, greeting everyone, shaking their hands and rejoicing, praise the Lord. As the prayer meeting was going on, everyone did their part, whether they prayed or they gave a testimony. When it came to Tante Margaret to say something, she came up and she shouted, Me come up here, I am too I am too cold, I am too dead. Wake up, lift up, step up. And started singing one of her favorite songs. All the way from Africa, land, come in.
why I to talk to you. So, in my respect, to Malakhe. I went there by Shihob. And oh, when I went there, I don't want to move from the home because she was busy to speak. She was to speak when I go there. Well, I don't want to move from the home. many years in the faith was very wonderful. Amen. And as, as my minister said, it was a wonderful lady in the Lord. Yes. You know, we're living in this world. And if we are living and we do not prepare for the end of our journey, Something is wrong. You know, after death, it is judgment. And we can live as we want, but not as long as we like. We have to prepare to meet the Lord with filial fears and loving gratitude. If we burn from a little babe and live to the earth that we want, are we are, and we do not prepare to meet the Lord, what a morning it will be. Many of us 
said that when we live, when we dead, we done. But brother, in what a time it will be! What a time it will be if you do not prepare to meet the Lord with filial fears and loving gratitude. I know this lady. I can tell you when I know her, she was a calm and present lady. So. When we, when we miss our loved ones and we know that they are going in, into the hands of the Lord, we can say, well done. Yes. So this evening, I want to say, My Lord, what a morning! My Lord, what a morning! sisters and brothers in Simis and America. We said this is Davis I just spoke a while ago. And I know especially one of my sisters who would have liked to be here due to the situation I want to especially Stephanie who was close and they said Winston was close to my aunt. And I know that the heart is well broken because it was really connected to my aunt. And I myself growing up knew my aunt has been loving and she loved the family dearly. She, when you talk about family, that's what my aunt. Since I know myself growing up, I never know that my aunt called me by my name. Uh, I'm the son of Edward McNichol, and every time she meet me, she can say, what Edward, uh, Edward. And we have a close connection because we farm together, and I know my aunt. She loves to work, and she works hard for her living. Yeah. And she is a lady who encouraged me a lot. I can remember when I get married and I introduce my wife to her. She look at my wife, she hug her, she kiss her, she feel her, she touch her over. And, and my aunt go always that way. Yeah. And then she look at me and said, Edward, let me tell you something. Take care of that lady that you have. Treat her with respect. Amen. And she give me comforting words. And she always encouraged me every time that we meet. And one thing I know with my aunt, she loves to laugh a lot. And one day with my aunt, every now and then you must have something to laugh. So you leave with a laughter. And she's a woman, she loves to laugh. And she give you that satisfaction. I never know my aunt 
as a raw Risham and a, raw, and a, a person. She's a person who's peaceful, quiet, and on, on her behalf, I just want to give her thanks for her life. And by this, I would just like to sing one verse of a song, I'll accompany with my wife, to give the family and even send the friends and those who come to us. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of myself and my husband, I would like to extend sympathy to the Matnico, the Kane, the members of the church, close friends of Miss Maverick Kane. Before we sing, I just want to say a few things that I admire of Miss Kane. When I met her, as my husband said, she gave me that touch. And I always tell my husband, I know the people that would give me that honest touch. And she really did embrace me. And the few years that I had, at one time I said to my husband, if you see you don't take me to your auntie home, anytime she passes, I'm not going to the funeral. Because I did not want to meet her that way. I really wanted to spend some time with her before she passed, because she was always asking about me. How is your wife? How is your wife? So I, I took some time to meet her and spend time with her. And I admire her strength and her courage. Even in her old age, she had that strength. And she had that courage. I remember seeing her going to France one with barefooted and I like, 80 something, you're still going to work? She feel that even she was lying on her bed, she feel she still want to go and work. And I watch her and I admire that strength of that woman. She had that strength of a woman. And you know, when I visit her, I would say, can you sing for me? And even at just before she passed away, she sang, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. And every time I leave, she will sing that song. And truly, I will always remember her for that. And by this, I just want to encourage the family Oh, what a sunrise is going to be whenever that day will come when you will see her face to face. God gives life and he takes it away. He is the potter
should I be I just stand in here to give my sympathy from the Wilson family. I am Sister Nola. Goes a long way. When my son take baptized by point of fisher, Sister Nola was there with him. So I said, can I come here today and not counsel Sister Nola? Mm. One Tuesday I was home and Vero called me and said, Sister Nola said, he wants us to go with his mother and the child. I said, when? He said, Sunday evening. I said, okay. And we went, sister and brother, this lady who in this coffin, she was a true, true believer. Yes. Amen. Brother Nola, Brother Sheldon, Brother Roland, Sister Vero, Sister Charles, and Sister Warren and Brother Warren was there. Sister and Sister Shallow. And we tell her when we reach in the house, and boy boy. When we reach the, the house, I tell to Sister Vera, I say, now, nah, a current pool in the house here. She's a very so say, yes, a current pool. And sister and brother, the lady was on she bed. So I tell Sister Nola, raise up, she had some with the pillow. And when each and everyone go on and play, and when you reach on my turn, she hold on for me hand. And she hold on for life. And she was saying, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Are you sweet enough? Yeah. Are you hold on? Yeah. Are you sweet, hold on? And she started to talk in tongues. And when she going down, she said, but I tell you, I turn up. I do all things for sign up. I can't make it. <laughs> I said, Lord, have mercy upon me. But when the end, but I roll and say again, close, I nearly break down Miss Kane house with the hand here. <coughs> and Rosie coming through the wall, and all I have to do beat on the wall and tell him, sing, sing. And I know today, her soul rests in God. Amen. I know her soul rests in God. Yes. Sister Nola and sister and brother, I just want to tell you, Nola, you never give up. If I call you and say, Sister Nola, we're going to transfer. Yes. Yes. All right, you're going. Yes. Now can we call Nola for what she's going? Yes. So I want you to hold and don't give up. Yes. I tell her this one day now, that you have to see about your mother until God said no more. Yes. I tell her, never weary. I said, one of these good girls, God will deliver you. And you yes. see? God deliver you. Yes. So you have to live up. You have to trust in God. And no matter what the world may say about you. Don't bother with people. Hold on. Hold on. I can't they come and say, your sister said this is me, but I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing because it's a big time for you, Jack. I want you to hold on. Trust God. I mean, I give up on you. Anywhere we go, you're going to go to the bunch of people. And I'll leave you out. Cool. Right? The old Mister.
believe we can take one more. Just one more. to my godmother, Winnie Juni, on behalf of the Thomas and Matthews family. Mother Nola I've known since I was a little baby. I would always run to her, get my little hugs, and sometimes she'd chuck a little sugar cake in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but I just sang that song mainly to tell you to stand strong. Of course. And it, that is something we can never understand, yeah? We may cry and pain may rock our bodies and all kind of thing, but stand strong because the Bible says, blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. God will never leave you alone, neither forsake you, just hold on to him, stand strong, and he will guide your path day by day. So to, every, to all the family members, stand strong for Jesus, no matter what's wrong, and take comfort in God. This is my peace. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. In the name of the Lord. Now we see that we have a special song here. I'm seeing no name. So who you are, you can come at this time. Because you know, they were so secretive. 
more than now, everything we do, we sh as children see it, everything what and the big people doing. So, you know, my aunt always, always there for me and I you know I never leave her. Always go to her, talk. And I tell you, if she hear anything about me, good or bad. If it is bad, whenever she see me, she remember it and she come and she will call and tell me, well, this and this. Sometimes I say, Tanti, that is not true enough. But still, she make it to me to know um, what it is. So, you know, um, a couple of years ago, me and my sister, Jasmine, have a talk. It has something was bothering in my mind all the years. And I never ask questions, no, nothing. But you know, God is his own in talking to her. One time, and Jasmine have a talk, and she talked to me. She told me from what age she know me as her sister. And she said from that time, whatever my father provided for me, it was her that carried to Aunt Margaret. And from Aunt Margaret, it, that's why she was all the hill and carried to my grandmother. And you know, it made me please of my father, please of aunt and my sister Jasmine, because there was there. And today, I know she's Jocelyn is not here, but in her heart, she is here. And she will like to come, but you know, so far some things when she don't care. But um, I'm telling you, Jocelyn, Althea, Vaughn, and the from and the others. I know, today they had a sad, but they are rejoicing with us too. Brothers and sister, let me tell you. If Bible takes cast your bread upon the water, not many days could find it. If they don't mean, you know, it just mean food, but it is food, but it's spiritual food also. Yes. Yes. You know, in October, I get a message that I have to go to my aunt's home. Go to my aunt and give her a shake up. Spiritual. I say, go to aunt's home and give her a shake up. It's a shake up. And I ask the question. And I was told, yes, you have to go by hand. I think about it, I put it together. Then I came and I tell Nola and Cynthia and after all, Judy. And I tell them, with time, I will be able to come to and home. But at that time, this uh, COVID-19 was surging. And, and Satan is so busy. I went the next day. Two days before, I'd be forced to go down, plan to go down. The, two days before I meet Nola, I said, Nola, me ain't thinking I come again, you know. No, that's say you. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> Trying to get Nola to understand that she could greet me, but she never greet me. <laughs> All she said to you, she said, I don't tell Tanti somebody come in, but she don't know who the person, and she don't put out she pretty dress. <laughs> you know, ready to receive. Then, I still ask she again, and she said, and you. And I drive off, and I do. My brother, sister, any, any Holy Spirit said, you they have to do. When I leave, I was not myself. I was so troubled. I study back all the good time and I get laugh and talk. And why now that I could go on this year world? Why must I refuse and go that day? I went to the mountain. I leave all the other what the time I had to come. I say, you know what? Let me go back before I back Nola. Because I don't want Nola going and I ain't get to tell her. My brother and sister, when I go in Nola, the steps. First time I go down there. One big shower rain. <laughs> Calm down. I had to roll ahead. No, la, no, la, no, la. No, la, run out. No, la, turn to me. I know you have to come back here. Amen. If you will truly sent, you will have to come back here. Yeah. Yeah. I pray, God, I was sent. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And I go this Saturday. Me and Nola. Can I tell you, brothers and sisters? We have a joyable time. We have a wonderful time. And my aunt did get that shake up. I tell her my aunt, she could not say, but she sit down on the chair. And I tell you, it was music. And when she was there, Nola turned to her. Nola said, Mommy, Betty come here and rejoice with you. I want you to give her something to go with that she could always remember. Hallelujah. And Tanti was there, and I tell you, it is it. Whatever Nola tell aunt and what aunt tell me, it's a seed planted me that all I have been singing that song. You understand when I do by myself? All in the night, I will sing this song. And after while I dare hear my aunt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And she started to sing, I want you to sing this song and sing it joyful. 
from the old school. Amen. Amen. And she lived a life that was pleasing unto God. And I can testify to that. You know why? Because the morning that I went into work, I met her there laying down on the hospital bed. And you know when you go to hospital, you meet people who are weak and people who can hardly talk. But Miss Kane was only saying, I'm hungry. I want something to eat. But she, she couldn't eat on her own. They had to put a tube inside her. But because of how she was fidgeting, they couldn't put in the tube. And she got so upset that she turned her back. <laughs> but she didn't turn her back in anger. She started to sing, Jesus, you love my soul.
rejoice. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because we know that she's in the hands of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. So at this time, we're going to learn about a little bit about her life. And we're going to call her Mrs. Gwendolyn Cutwell, the niece, to come and do the eulogy for us. Yes. Good afternoon, church. Before we do the eulogy, my cousin, Julie, came to me this Sunday and told me that she wanted me to do it for the family because it's my last aunt. I watch her and then I say, I will see. She said, me now I have ESC and we want to do it. I say, okay, and then I turn to go in to the porch. While I turned from the gate going into the porch, I heard this tune in my ears. Chuala Dante. Canada, they would like to remind the family 
that in times of this time, in sadness, or any storms that you may be going through in your life, you may put God first. Yes. Pull the faith and be strong and pull together as one and have peace reign in the family. Okay? So the eulogy of the late Margaret Justina Kane of Richmond Park. Margaret Justina Kane, better known as Tanti Margaret or Nee Michaels, was born on the 22nd of March, 1928, and passed away at the age of 94. She lived a full life. She was the daughter of Mr. Duncan and Mary Michaels. Additionally, Margaret was the last of 12 children for Mr. Duncan and Mary McNichols. Out of that 12 siblings, she was the last of the McNichols clan to be deceased. When it comes to Tante Margaret, life grew up. She grew up with her siblings' parents in Richland Park, where they would enjoy family time, worship, and farming together. As a young lady growing up, she met the love of her life, Mr. Edgar Kane, which she later married and gave birth to eight children, three of which is deceased. She survived by five remaining children, Nola, Cynthia, Corwin, Ashford, and Randolph, 12 grandchildren, including Mrs. Juni Kane, who she raised and molded as one of her own children. 12 great-grandchildren, one daughter-in-law, Mrs. Mary Kane, and two grandsons-in-laws, Mr. Ashley Kane and Mr. Conville Kane. Margaret Justina Kane was a humble, wonderful and unremarkable woman who overcame a lot of obstacles and accomplished a lot in her life. She knew that she would raise her children in strength and in the love of God as well as she held her head high and gave endlessly to those around her. She loved her children, grand and great children dearly. She also loved her nieces and nephews, who she encouraged to walk the straight and narrow path. Not only that, but she was a disciplinarian. Whenever her children or grand went down the wrong path, book it and show, they would receive a good pair of scolding from her, for she didn't stand any nonsense. Moreover, Tante Margaret was a cheerful, fun-loving lady, who was full of life. Her infectious smile could light up an entire room. Whether a funny joke or a big smile, she was a delight to be around, for she made everyone around her happy. When she was at the health center and was going to be discharged, a young worker stated, Miss Kane, you're going home to eat plenty dashin." And her response was, and banana too. <laughs> she was very delight to be around. Also, she was a skilled farmer who grew crops such as the Portuguese and Dominican yams and rare animals. This skill of farming she passed on to her children. Whenever she was in the garden and got tired, she would sit down, place her hands on her chin, and meditate for a while. And when she was ready to go home, she would pick up her cutlass and transport her load on her head out of sight until the next morning. When it comes to food, Tanti loved her breadfruit, brown provision, and she loved to drink plenty bush. Tanti Margaret also loved to walk barefoot and bathe at the river with soap, soap bush. She would tell you, you see river water, it's sweeter than pipe water. That is why she preferred to bathe at the river because it felt good on her skin. Apart from the aforementioned, Tante Margaret was a Christian and a praying lady. She loved God and she liked to pray and sing. Some of the songs she would combine were how Sweet the name of Jesus Christ.
start to see her work. And then you will see she dig out on the speed. Laugh and say, you think Carly will hold me up? Huh? <laughs> she was a woman who loved to encourage people. Her favorite words were, you hear me, what I tell you, or what I say. Tanti was unique in, his, in her own way. Last but not least, she loved to see cleanliness. Not a piece of bush could have been in Tanti yard. Tanti Margaret would always ensure that she take the cutlass and hoe and make the yard speak and span. Amen. Amen. She was a great mother, an aunt, sister, grandmother, Amen. grandmother-in-law, a great aunt, wife, and friends. In her last moments, she would still put a smile on your face. She will be missed by a lot of people who came to know her. May her loving soul rest in turn. Praise the name of the Lord. Now we're going to have a scripture reading from the Old Testament that is taken from Psalms 130, and that is being done by her great grandson, Renaldo King. From the depth of my despair, I call to you. Hear my cry, O Lord, listen to my send for my help. If you keep a record of our sins, who could escape the king? The, who can escape? Begin. Who can escape being condemned? But. <laughs> but he forgave us so that we should stand in awe of him. I wait eagerly for the Lord's help, and in his word I trust. I wait for the Lord more eagerly than sin well from the dawn. Than sin it, wait for the dawn. Israel trusts in the Lord because his love is constrained and he is always willing to save. He will save his people Israel from all their sins. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to have the epistle. And that has been taken from Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 to 17. And this is being done by her granddaughter, Latoya Kane. Revelation chapter 9, chapter 7, from 9 to 17. After these things, I looked, and behold, a great multitude which no one could number of all the nations, tribes, people, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the, before the Lamb, covered with white robe, with palm branches in their hands, and crying, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and the elders and the poor 
and the four living creatures and fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders answered, saying to me, Who are these arrayed in white robe and where did they come from? And I said to him, So, you know, so he said to me, these are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will dwell among them. They shall neither, they shall neither hunger anymore not tossed anymore. The sun shall not strike them, nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountain of water. And God will wipe away every tear from the eyes. This is the word of the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. another epistle and that is being taken from Revelation chapter 21 from verses 1 to 7 and that is being done by her grandson Ashra. Good afternoon everyone. So I'm going to say thanks to everyone who came out to my grandmother's burial. I appreciate it. Um, the scripture reading is taken from <laughs> Revelation 21 Revelation, to charm, Revelation chapter 21 from 1 to 7 Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared and the sea was also gone and I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down from, coming down from God out of heaven like a bride beautifully dressed for, for her husband I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's home is new among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from, from their eyes and there will be no death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I, I am making everything new. And then he said to me, Write this down, for what I tell you is trustworthy and, and true. And he also said, It is finished. I am the Alpha and the, Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I will give freely from the springs of water of life. All who are victorious will inherit all these blessings and I will be their God, and they will be my children. This is the word of the God. the gospel and that is being taken from John chapter 11 from verses 17 to 27. I've not seen any name yet so right. good afternoon all <clears throat> this, it, this 
هستن پر بازوار Gospel reading is taken from John chapter 11, verses 17 to 20, 27. Jesus, the resurrection and the life. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had been buried four days before. Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Judeans had come to see Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother's death. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, If you had come here, Lord, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask for. Your brother will rise to life, Jesus said, told her. I know, she replied, that he will rise to life on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will live, even though they die. And those who live and believe in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she answered. I do believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who has come into the world. These are the words of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, about to welcome the man of the hour to bring the word through all
over to the man who's going to bring comfort to the weary family through the word of the Almighty God, Pastor Matthews. Amen. Amen. Then I get there.
Jesus Christ, not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, said that all. Touch my lips, O God, as you touch that great my heart. Put the word into my mouth, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the rock I
And I listen to all that tribute and what I've been said. And I could picture myself to see the road that the sister is traveling. Yes. But we got to know that calling so nice here to go on in. And you better do good. Respect your fellow man and let your light shine bright. But the evil that man do, the evil today will be brighter tomorrow. Don't put today a bad sorrow. She said, I'm going to read what she said. And all of us got to go one day to read what she said. You're so good, you're going good. Yes. You're so bad, you're going bad. Yes. So we are here celebrating. Yes. I mean, if you got to cry, you have to cry. Yes. No, if you got to cry, cry. Now, tell you not to cry, cry. But here's the flow. But one you might have said, go with to better and everybody happy there. Yes. And since you know that your mommy gone to a place of rest, rejoice. You see, let me speak for five minutes. There was a lady who they call Kai Bita from the book of Acts chapter 9. And this lady lived a good life. She was full of good works. And full of good arms. See? But sometimes when we do good work, that work for us. Yeah. And when we do bad work, that bad work for us. Yes. I could tell you that because I experienced all these things. Yes. But the Akash knew exactly when you need anything. She will never ask you, but she knows when you need anything. And she's going to give it unto you. And in as much that the Akash do all this good work, she took to them, she died. All the work that Sister Kian did, she got home. Yes. And I walk up onto fellowship. Somebody said when you're dead, you're done. Up to last month, I heard that. I said, man, let me tell you something. If they're born, you are shit. You got to come back to life. Yeah. The cast knew everything that you want. She give it unto you. She made clothes. She give them to people. She made dress. She give them to people. And she give you what you need. But she died. Everyone else will not die. According to scripture, there are some who standing here among you who will not taste of death. Yeah. 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 And because Job was so near, they sent on the car Peter. And they said, don't stop now to come. Just come and immediately as you register in the you come. And Peter went. And when Peter went, they showed him all the courts that they had just made. And all the good work that she did. But 
Can you come aside? Let me share something. This body has a culture. It is what inside everybody body practice. Yes. Yes. So you come to my side. It's the spirit that picking up and not the body. Yes. So the body can't come back alive. Mm. But the spirit could come back alive. Oh, yes. Praise the Lord. So it's the body, it's the spirit that could not and not the body. Mm. So Peter put them aside. Yes. And the Bible says in the law. And he began to pray. We make
Yes, yeah, she gave them her hand. And you presented her alive. So even though Sister Kim died, she and died, she died to sleep. Yes, yes. And if you believe in God and trust in God and you go to sleep, they go to sleep in Jesus Christ. Yes. yes. Mother met him. 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 Mother met him.
is when you hear the part from me. He caused it into everlasting fire. Prepare for the reverence the angel. That end come. And many you got to born. It is better than born. According to Psalm 127, it is vain to write the body. To set a blade and not fall into the end of that sorrow. What are we doing? Let me give you the story. You should see Danny TV. Here's up for our life. Another life. One life to live. We live in now. We have the great plan. We are in the great in the world, you know, from our last trip. But how are we living? How are we living? To please man? To please ourselves? To please the world? If we live to pick the world, we want to last of us one in hell. But if we live this life to keep God, that man, you know why? If they live, holy and righteous man must still pass it. Well, if holy and righteous man is still persecuting you, but they persecuted Jesus Christ. And he said, they persecuted me, and others are not persecuted you. If you have my sin, they will keep those out. So, for all these things, they will grant you for my name's sake, because they will not keep that sin me. But if we need to be Jesus Christ, we are going to get another life. For God to love the world.
If you can love who you see, you can love Jesus Christ. You can see Jesus Christ. I could see me, brother. I could see me, sister. I could see every one of you. So we got to love one another. Love is an action. Yes. Oh, yes. And I've got to show the action. Yes. And let tell me you love me and next thing you want to touch you can me back. Show the action. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Jesus Christ, very rich man, he celebrated us and one new life, one true life. Go sell that to have and give to me poor. And come and follow me. But he was, he was very sorrowful. So can look at him. Say how hardly can I wish my hand to the king of, of, of heaven. He said, easier for coming to go to the heaven than for a rich man to enter heaven. Trump touched in chariots. And for yet, my men touching our riches are not bad. Let me better than you. I'm not begging for nothing. I'm not sleeping under your roof. I have my own house. So I'm better than you. She's a kid going to sleep better just now. The place where she come from, there she got to go back. So when you start to tell me you're better more than me, and we have tried that you know that now. Me better more than you. That's it. If all of us here is friends, and me and my wife in my city, mm. we feel good to be there more than you. Mm. But we have to be there more than you. Yes, 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 yes. true. Amen. True. But if not the wife be good, and you even hate me, I am not a bear. True. So when you reach home, you have to go home. Yes, yes. Hold on. Hold on. But hear me. Remove hatred. Remove envy, remove malice, yes. and let kindness and peace and love reign in our life. Yes. Yes. And when we do that, we could say thank you, Jesus. Yes. And if that is not in our life, we are not going nowhere. Oh, yes. So I don't have to beg you, please, hold on. Don't give up. The time is short. I could leave here, no one here, when I told me here, I die. Mm. But the question is, where are you going to spend eternity? Oh God. Let us reason together, check it out. Do your sins be as scarlet? You shall be white as snow. For the world of kings is dead, you shall be a wall. Come now. Come now, my life. Can you pay 
everyone is here. Yes, Let them be wicked first check is where the righteous man is start. Let's go back to move. has been asked this afternoon where are we going to spend eternity you know we cannot say we're going to spend eternity in heaven and our action is not living up to what we are saying you cannot be in church walking adoption 24 7 and just as you leave you're running down your brother and your sister amen, amen. if you say God being God amen somebody amen. Our sister is gone home. We have a thing that we used to say. Today we are here and tomorrow we are gone. But because of how life is going, now we have to say, today we are here and the next minute we are gone. You see, it's all the folks used to die now. But now the younger people are dying now. And then we have to ask ourselves the question, do they know the Lord as a personal savior? You know? So, yes, young people have their own mind. But if we as the parents or grandparents never set an example, they cannot follow it. Amen? Amen. So this afternoon, as we are saying farewell to our beloved sister, grandmother, aunt, whatsoever she is to you, let us take stock of our life. Because we don't know who is going to be next. But... I always have a saying is that I'm not afraid to die. I don't know how I'm, I, how I'm going to die. But bucket show, I want to die in the arms of Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because we leave home and we don't know if we're going to make it back home. 
So whether we die, let us know that we die in the arms of the Lord. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. Let me give God a clap off in this afternoon. Amen. Bless them in the name of the Lord. So now I'm going to call on my brother here, and he's going to do the Apostles' Creed. Amen? Amen. Everyone stand. Thus I sing, I believe, I believe in God, the Father of my Lord, the Lord of the Lord of Jesus Christ, the Lord of the Lord. Who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered a heart of sin, and was crucified. He ascended to the right hand of the Father Almighty. From death shall come the charge of the coming death. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Lord. Amen. Keep standing. As I ask my other brother to close us. In a word of prayer, please, and also to pray on behalf of the family. Oh, in home. Undertakers to come, please let the undertakers go out first with the casket, and then the family members can follow after. And can it be that I should be?
Oh, yeah. 
Monte. No, I mean. no. No. If you know what I mean? If you If you do that, you say to everybody and still other people are taking him, there's something wrong.
Okay, so why thumbs down? You should give me a thumbs down because don't look at me. Okay.
As much as it please Almighty God of His great mercy to receive and give Himself the soul of my dear sister, here he parted. Therefore, commit her body to the ground. But to her, as she stretches, dust to dust. In the church, we have been hoping that we return up to our life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, we shall change our own body, that it might be act like his various body according to his mighty work, whereby he is able to subdue our things to himself. I heard the voice of Jesus said, to me,